Burundi, heart of Africa, is an East African country bordered by countries of Tanzania, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and Rwanda. World Vision began working in Burundi in 1963. Operation stopped towards the end of the 80s, but restarted in 1993 in response to the acute humanitarian needs caused by the civil unrest. The UN estimates that around one million people fled into neighboring countries when the crisis broke out and around 600,000 were internally displaced. When the crisis broke out in 1993, World Vision Burundi resumed its operations and worked alongside Burundian populations affected by that civil war, working as a relief organization. In 2005, when security was improving slowly, democratic elections were held, refugees and internally displaced people started coming back home. Three years later, in 2008, security has significantly improved and World Vision Burundi decided to shift from relief to development. Internally displaced people and the returnees became the main target of World Vision. World Vision accompanied them while they settled back in their homes. World Vision Burundi continued to work with vulnerable people, focusing its interventions on sectors of nutrition, food security, economic development, health, and wash. Why that? First of all, child malnutrition is one of the greatest development challenges that Burundi faces today. Several studies have estimated that um, more than one half of Burundian children under five years are stunted and there are three factors, primary factors, that are causing this problem. Number one, a high population growth rate. Number two, household poverty. And number three, household food insecurity. So in our new strategy for the next three years, as World Vision Burundi, would like to significantly improve the well-being of children. And we have chosen to focus all our efforts towards addressing those three problems that I have mentioned. High population growth rate, uh, food insecurity, household food insecurity, and household poverty. So we'll continue to support programs in the economic development uh, sector that help poor farmers, poor families to improve their agricultural production and productivity so they can produce enough food to feed themselves, but also broaden economic opportunities for them to be able to increase their household incomes. We'll also continue to support programs in the health sector with a primary focus on helping poor families to be able to access affordable and good quality primary health care uh, services and also improve their access to safe water and sanitation facilities. 
will also continue to support programs in the education sector with uh, a focus on helping children from poor communities to access adequate and good quality education programs. Internally displaced people, retainees and other vulnerable people affected by the civil war remain the main target of World Vision's interventions. In view of the destructions caused by the civil war, World Vision Burundi launched its natural resources management project to help those people in need to be resilient and increase their food production, food so much needed at that particular period. Some of the refugees were coming back from exile with many children. The civil war, which took lives of more than 300,000 people, developed the feeling of extermination among its refugees, especially those who were outside of the country. He decided to give birth to many children. If someone has been the country regained security when people were in the need of support that can help them to increase food production because besides a long period they spent without working as they should due to the crisis there were also diseases attacking crops The Natural Resource Management Project did not only contribute to the disaster reduction and to increase food production, but also prepared the women to positions of leadership. Their work with World Vision has brought them closer to the community and has helped them earn their respect and vote. World Vision ni yaraje itangurira muri commune gashoho ubihumbi bibiri na kabiri. Chanja muri komite yo gutwara abantu aho nikora. Abanyokuru batishoboye turakorana dutera amabungo mu ipikinyeri dutera amatunda mu ipikinyeri tukomeza tukora dukora abo banyokuru ntibakitsi ntege nabatama tukagenda tukari mutuntu tuturima duto 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 mugabo dukorana na world division hanyuma haje politike yo kwitoza nanje ntamvuga ati na kare nari nsanzwe ntwara hanyuma nchanja mu vya politike vya muri manda ya 2025 uwo munsi ntongwa ni gihugu abanyagihugu bakanterura bakanyirukankana ataco ntanze abantu babagabo batanze inka batanze impene batanze amabido cyo ataco ntanze abantu babanyokuru nabatama nabakenyezi bavyumva bakavuga ati natwe turawe ko twatora umukenyeza twize twizeye 
With that project, beaches have started to cut across the hills of Burundi. They look pretty, but are not for aesthetic reasons. Erosion is a big problem in this hilly nation already hit by alarming levels of hunger and still struggling for normalcy after decades of civil war. Disaster risk reduction activities have contributed to the increase of food production. Mazekona Besides the increase of food production, World Vision is also interested in the quality of food produced, especially food for children. Why? World Vision is interested in the quality of food. One of the causes of the malnutrition is the poor feeding practices. What we do is to teach to the mothers how to use local available food in the community that is available in the community. Stunting with related micronutrient deficiencies result in diminished cognitive and physical development of the children, which put them at a disadvantage for the rest of their life, with low performance at school and also low productivity as adults, comparing to the other children. One Vision Burundi is putting a lot of emphasis on the area of nutrition as a sector in its own right, as well as being integrated as an important part within the health and food security sectors due to the intrinsic rapport between them. According to UNICEF, nearly one million children under the age of five in Burundi are chronically malnourished. 58% of those children also suffer from stunted growth, while acute malnutrition levels have reached 6%. The country is deeply affected by the chronic nature of food and the nutrition insecurity. These last five years, prevalence of chronic malnutrition revealed itself to be the highest in Africa and the second in the world after East Timor. Nutrition project is saving lives of children. In Burundi, because of lack of enough health centers, people have depended for a long time on traditional healers in terms of health care. And when malnutrition hits, some parents take their children to witch doctors, a dangerous practice. Fortunately, what Vision Burundi is using a low cost approach to teach poor families how to prevent and manage malnutrition among its children. Each year, World Vision screens more than 20,000 children and a quarter of them is usually found malnourished and World Vision Burundi rehabilitates them. Liela is a three-year-old girl who recently bounced back from acute malnutrition. When she was one year old, she became sick. Her health status worsened daily. What worsened it most was the fact that instead of taking her to hospital, her parents carried her to witch doctors that performed their rituals in vain. With encouragement of World Vision Health Mobilizers, her parents took her finally to hospital, where she was treated by ready-to-use therapeutic food provided by World Vision Burundi. I 
The obligation of securing children like Liyela in Burundi is not only a moral but also an economic choice. According to UNICEF, if nothing is done, Burundi will be losing around 102 million US dollars each year due to the consequences caused by malnutrition. Malnutrition that doesn't leave behind affected families. Due to malnutrition, they lose both time and their hard earned money. <laughs> And because of World Vision Burundi intervention, Liela is now a healthy and lively three year old girl. In most of the cases, malnutrition is caused by lack of birth spacing in families. That is why World Vision Burundi has launched its health timing and spacing pregnancy project and around 5,000 community members per year are sensitized on family planning and World Vision Burundi plans to have messages delivered to these people integrated into all activities that are supported by World Vision Burundi. That way, what vision expects to reach a large number of mothers and enhance their reproductive health. Why is it important for World Vision Burundi to put much emphasis on this? This because when children are not spaced or even when uh, parents are not limiting uh, births, you can see uh, a mother will not have enough time to take care of children. She will not have enough time to practice exclusive breastfeeding or even to practice supplementation. Yeah, that's why we are insisting on spacing pregnancies so that a mother can find enough time to take care of a child or even to limitate so that she can uh, have uh, a limited number of children to make sure uh, she or even all the family they are able to take care of the children. This is a very important message to deliver to help parents to be uh, more conscious of, of that fact. village savings and loans associations. During the ADP's design phases, community members are found to have irregular and insufficient incomes. Our zones of interventions 
have no financial institutions that can provide the credits and community members are not resilient to economic shocks and household emergencies and continue to need assistance. What Vision Burundi is supporting communities to start village savings and loans associations, though it is only one year old. Rapidly, that approach is changing lives of vulnerable people, especially women. In FY13, 300 and 600 households were targeted by training sessions of World Vision Burundi on how to start and run those associations. Kornali, who is living in Rutegama ADP, center of Burundi, finds that with World Vision support, they have been able to create banks for poor people. In less than one year, she was able to breed different sorts of livestock and to increase food production. This is helping her to be resilient. It is started by guinea pigs, rabbits after. Later, bigger than that, pigs. Now she has hired a martial art. What Vision Burundi wants to reach 16,200 households in the upcoming three years. In rural Burundi, poor access to safe drinking water, lack of proper sanitation facilities and poor hygiene practices remain in some areas a major obstacle to achieving better health. The National Inventory for Water and Sanitation, done by Burundi Ministry of Energy and Mining in 2010, states that for the whole country, the proportion of people using clean water is 55%. Two years ago, on Higiro Hill of Gasogwe Zone, 
in the Muinga province northeast of Burundi. What vision Burundi patterned with community members of that locality to construct a water pond? Community members are happy to have now clean water. What is encouraging is that the communities have set in place structures which are managing water sources for sustainability. John Bigeze, president of Higilo Water Source, is holding a meeting reminding community members to take care of the water source and to give their yearly contribution. 500 Burundian francs, less than one US dollar. A small sum, but enough to take care of that public facility. John is happy to see that community members cooperate and are willing to pay. What Vision Wash project has touched in FY13 250,000 people around the country? Clean water that is not only contributing to enhancement of people's health, but also help them to develop activities of development while water is supplied the water clubs and they give it to their livestock. Jirango Jobakwe, Kwaragrag to Trashoba Mabuya Tri Tanga Chane, or the vision to Fashmu Umuseni, Nawenye Kaus on Bishop Mutuko, a tower of Aravana do Fis, it would see the Kumet to Koresu Mutu. Harajaho, Yoi Bomorishaj, the Tender in Herano, Narakoresh Jivitas. Tuatanga natin herera no tuatu terere yaku jangor do vijeni ironi nguvu ironi ironi hinga nguvu jani vumani jatono ne karana baron hinga neva do fash. In Gitirani commune neighbor to Gasogwe, in the same province, well, World Vision Burundi hasn't intervened yet. People are meant. They are spending a lot of time collecting and clean water. Anu tu yaku eva hita mukadeveri. Rugendo, we saw him not a million giving. Kugenda no Kugaruk. That way to get a do his mongo to motors in Katuga. In go visit the Mazda de Gabanuk, Kuera and Yin Hutanish, to which I to do a cake. We got a very to worry or Sahan not a million giving. A Rikin Gifakubera, Mobo Umuki Soko, Mobo Kugirmona take, who are a taker is a Yokozago Shikanamazi, and you match at Zakugu. A Hongi Ashraku with the Kuyagura Sanga and Hayaliho, Kachamanda Gasuinum. What Vision Burundi is so far satisfied with its achievements in a partnership with Burundi and vulnerable people. However, much is still to be done. With more funding, more would be done for better life, for the benefit of children. Knowing the complexity and relationship between challenges at community level, World Vision Burundi, if uh, we had the opportunity to get additional funding, we will contribute to solve the challenges at community level in a more and better integrated approach with other sectors, food security, health, nutrition, wash and education. For example, to contribute to the solution of malnutrition at community level, our approach with additional funding will be focused on PDF, Positive Deviance, FARN, CMAM, IYCF. But at the other hand, at the same time, we want to increase uh, household income through village saving loans association, VSLA, through value chain uh, approaches targeting specific crops uh, in our communities where we are working, and also making sure that uh, issues related to birth spacing, issues related to family planning are also well integrated. And the approach related to health, for example, will be focusing on uh, delivering key messages, uh, knowledge and utilization of maternal and child health knowledge, and also health uh, timing and uh, spacing approaches at community level. <laughs>